Good evening, and thanks for joining us as we prepare for the 2020 elections. We have two big races to talk about today that are happening here in Iowa. First, let's discuss the Senate race between Republican incumbent Joni Ernst seeking re-election and Democratic challenger Teresa Greenfield. Before 2014, Republican Chuck Grassley won a Senate race in 1980, and Democrat Tom Harkin won a Senate race in 1984. Both were the senators in Iowa for 30 years, so there's a sense that whoever wins this race will be here for a long time. Trump won Iowa by nine points back in 2016, and Iowa has been trending Republican, but this Senate race has been rated a toss-up, meaning it could truly go either way. Also happening this year is an election for the congressional seat in Iowa's second district, which covers most of the southeastern portion of the state. Our 14-year Democratic incumbent, David Loebsack, announced that he will not be seeking re-election, which leaves us with two challengers to buy for the seat. Democrat Rita Hart will be facing off against Republican Marionette Miller Meads. District 2 was one of only 30 districts in the country represented by a Democrat that voted for President Trump in 2016. But in the 2018 midterms, amidst the serious backlash faced by Republicans that gave Democrats a sweeping victory in the House, the districts voted blue once again by a 5.2% margin. But given that Iowa is an important swing state, we can't be too surprised at this change of heart. All right, so spurring economic growth, uh, government accountability, and education funding are going to be three of the largest things that people across the state and the district specifically are really concerned about. So there aren't too many popular political figures here in Iowa, unfortunately, but you have senior Senator Chuck Grassley, junior Senator Joni Ernst, and District 2's current incumbent, David Lopesack, who is not seeking re-election. All right, so Iowa's second district makes up about one fourth of the entire state's population at 784,000 people. Um, ethnically, the state is 85% white, 6% Hispanic, 4% black, and 2% Asian. Uh, the district's about 66% urban, 34% rural, uh, and those average those numbers reflect the greater state as well. Hello! We are going to dive into the political state history of Iowa and its second congressional district. First, prior to 1988, Iowa voted mostly Republican, only choosing it on Republican five times up until 1988. Now it is considered a battleground state every four years for presidential elections. From 1992 to 2012, Iowa voted with Democrats six out of seven elections. In 2016, that changed when Donald Trump won Iowa by 9.5%. Recently, Iowa is losing its electoral sway because the population growth is slowing down. So specifically in this district, during this election, Rita Hart, who's a Democrat, and Marionette Miller Meeks, who's a Republican, are running in the general election for the second congressional district of Iowa for this election. Incumbent Dave Lobosak, who's a Democrat, was first elected in 2006 and is not seeking re-election. So the second district of Iowa is one of 30 Democratic held U.S. House districts that Donald Trump won in the 2016 presidential election. Of those 30 districts, Iowa second district has the only open seat in 2020. Reporting live, I'm Mark Stevens. I'm here to predict Iowa's second congr congressional district race between Rita Hart and Marionette Miller Meeks. I believe because of as of September 30th, Rita Hart has out fundraised Meeks and has more political experience. But enough from me. We have someone who is born and raised from Iowa. Uh, I was in uh, Iowa when I was 11. Who do you think is going to win the race? Uh, Hart, yeah. You heard it here first. Hart is going to win. Who's going to win the Iowa Senate election in your opinion? Hmm. I think it's uh, Ernst. No, it's not. The person that's gonna win is Greenfield, and you wanna know why? Greenfield is one outspending Joni Ernst. Joni Ernst is a sitting incumbent who has faltered with Iowa. And as a result, even though Iowa was a red state in 2016, the thing that we have to note is that when it comes to healthcare, the government is not doing well, and the Iowans are taking this out on the Senator and the governor, hurting her chances to win the election. And as a result, Greenfield's election is doing far better and is currently three points ahead because she's focused on health issues. And that is why she's gonna win. Did that change your opinion? Yes. 